Hello folks, Doug Fink, 15X Microsoft MVP. And today we're gonna to take a look at how you can create an AI agent from scratch in PowerShell using my new PSAI agent module. We're gonna learn about what an agent is and we're gonna show you how to implement and what differences they make. Let's go. So first up, down here I'm Inside of ChatGPT, I'm using ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, which doesn't hook up explicitly to searching the web. And I'm going to say, summarize the transcript for this video. This video is one I did a week ago about integrating DuckDB into PowerShell. So when I press enter and we run it, ChatGPT says I can't access external content like uh, YouTube videos directly. All right, that's cool. So now let's pop over to PowerShell and using my PSAI agent, there's a couple of different functions. One of them is called new agent. The other one's called get agent response. You can create a new agent and there's a whole bunch of uh, f parameters you can uh, specify to customize its uh, capabilities uh, and its personality. And then we're gonna pipe that into get agent response and I'm gonna say the same thing. Summarize the transcript for this video. All right, so it's the same link and it's the same question I posed to ChatGPT on the web. So look, watch down below, I'll run this up. And it tells me I am unable to summarize the content of videos. If you want to provide me uh, key points, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm going to kick it up uh, to using an agent. And this will define what an agent is. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a couple more lines of code, but let's take a look first. So there's a module on the gallery called PSYT, which is a PowerShell YouTube um, module that Pete Cook wrote, and you can retrieve YouTube transcripts with it. So he has a function in there called get transcript, right? So I'm doing nothing to his module. I'm using something called register hyphen tool, part of the PSAI agent. And basically what that does is it looks at the function, looks at the parameters for get transcript, and it transpiles it in a way that will uh, make it available. I can make it available to the models on OpenAI and other models in, in in the AI space. Now, if you want to know more about this, check out the links down below. I'm going to do a deep dive uh, on this in my live streams. Um, you'll want to check those out. So, we're going to take the tool. We're going to set it up with a registered tool called Get Transcript, and now I'm going to pass that into New Agent. We're going to do the same Get Agent Response same question same link so now when i run it you see it downloaded and not only did we see it download because the model responded back to the agent which you're in control of and it suggested what tool what function to call in that case it suggested get transcript i called that in the code so it's not the model calling it and that's a, a main myth that has to be debunked. All right, so it's not the model calling it, it's figuring out from the prompt what it should do and if it has a set of functions that it can call and lets you know about, oh, I think you should call get transcript and then off it goes. So it figured out that this was a YouTube video. I didn't tell it that. It knew to call get transcript and in fact, it comes back and knows the title of my video and it gives a bunch of key points um, that it thought was important and the summarization about integration, demos, future sessions, and so on. So let's take this up one more notch. So we'll comment out line eight and uncomment line 10. Same thing. Uh, this time though, I'm going to ask for three bullet points. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on something called, I have a, uh, a switch called show tool call. So let's watch what happens now. There you see that verbose is the model telling my new agent which code, which function to call, and it passes the proper ID. Notice it, it uh, parsed out the ID, didn't use this, the entire URL. That's the way get transcript works. And it gives me three bullet points on the PowerShell meets DuckDB. Um, so that's it. So basically what we did was, is the models out of the box, from OpenAI, et cetera, not, they don't have uh, typical access to uh, tools that can get to things like YouTube or the web and so on and so forth. But with the agent capabilities, you can now 
register these tools and do what they call function calling. Um, and then you can enable these kind of scenarios. And it's that simple in five, two, three lines of code. Again, if you want a deep dive on how this works, how a register tool works, how the agent model, model works, or the module works, uh, join me in my live stream. Check it out in the descriptions below. Hope to see you there.